Hi everyone, Kim KV here, and here's my review of Not Fade Away, directed by David Chase, starring John Magaro, Jack Huston, James Gandolfini, Molly Price, Meg, Guru, let's go. <laughs> Will Brew, Bomb, Zach, uh, Luski, Brad Garrett. F. Michael Haney, Ken Foreman, great cast, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lisa Campanelli. Paul LaFacey, great cast, really is. And this film is about a young man who grows up in the 60s and really wants to be in a rock group. One day he goes to the local uh, music store and he sees this great drum set in the window and this other man comes up and you know, really says how well he is in a van and is starting a van. And so the first young man, you know, really wants, really wants to be in a van. So of course, it was like, you know, can now. <laughs> His name is Douglas. And he has a nice family, everything. Yeah, his dad works a lot. His mom also works, but he's usually at home. <laughs> he has a little sister who's telling, who's telling certain events. Rock is supposed to be like is a report about you know the history of rock and roll. And it just happened that Douglas is having to be a part of it, being a part of a rock group. And we really see, you know, the influence that rock had. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, especially in the sixties and really got popular and everything. And so him and our lot of friends, uh and well a few friends play at this party. That's gonna be a friend's house. The Thanksgiving party. <laughs> um, so they play a song and they're really good. Well, like, is there's actual one? I don't want to give away if there's actual one to find. So, Douglas has to step up and be the singer. And so, he does a great job. Um, to sing more. And this is Christian Lee they really likes. Um, since I was graduating from college. And she sees her again. And uh, because I like top on high school. He did. Like one time in one of their classes, so <laughs> not to more. And he, maybe his dad just wants him to get a real job and wants to make sure they can do and really succeed and everything he wants to, you know. And of course, as he's older, he does grows his hair out and stuff like, nah, maybe not, you know. Starts really dressed like, you know, rock or things like that. And he just wants to be successful, and Douglas just wants to make the music, wants to do what he wanted to do. And just be successful. But also there's things going on with, you know, dad, mom, sister. Mainly dad and mom. Just really want to be successful. Well, they've got things going on too. I don't want to give it away, but there are certain things. Because his dad gets, gets like, because his dad gets an illness. Terrible. One of the worst illnesses can get. You know. And... You know, it really affects everyone, especially Douglas. And we want them to get as much help as possible, as change as possible. 
Paul Douglas and the band is really growing. At first series so it's the Gene Forney band. Because they don't really I'm sorry, the yeah, Gene Forney. <laughs> they don't really have a name yet. And so they so they get a manager and they get a recording deal. Yeah, they go well first they record a demo of Rockers they uh, really wants to be Rockers. And they really just show how they want to be rockers, how they want to do everything they can. Like to be rockers and live like they want to and always dreamed about with being rock stars and everything. <laughs> oh yeah. And so that that really you know first you know, sing songs, but they started writing songs since they are a band now. At first it was just, you know, performance, but they are a band writing songs and everything. And it was just cool seeing how they love doing it. No matter what happened. With their family life, with their help, they just loved doing it. And of course, they care of themselves, but it was the music first, and then they just want to make sure they think out. It was pretty well done. It really shows, you know, what it was like to be a musician, especially you know a young musician wanting to make it into the business and everything. Especially you know with seeing all you know everyone who was you know coming on TV and on the radio and everything at that time, really showing how great it was. To be able to do that too, even if you you weren't on TV or <laughs> yeah on radio yet, but you were able to record a record and everything. How important, how great that was, how great an accomplishment that was, you know, and you know is, it was especially when rock first came out and everything. It really shows how that goes to anything for his family, for you know, and for the he even comes more than friends with, but this loves rock. But it really showed that you know, the fact that they really love his family, you know, his main thing and rock and everything. And, you know, his parents just want to be successful. And you really see, you know, how much and everything. It's really well done. Oh, yeah, it was great. It was really cool how they go through time. Like, literally just goes gradually, you know. And you can just tell that it's later in the 60s, you know, <laughs> maybe in early 70s later on, but you can tell for the most part it's later in the 60s and everything. It was really quite a I would have just liked to have seen more of the love for all the songs, all the music. I mean, it was really well done. You would really see why he loves it, but a little bit more, but it was great, though. Oh, yeah, it was really well done. And just the drive to make the songs, everything, but it was really well done. You see, but it was a little bit more, but it was great, though. Oh, yeah, very well done. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's one so wonderful. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. In these videos, we'll ask you for the end of the day.